Hi everybody. Hello, Kamusta po? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is um, Attorney Elaine. Our YouTube channel is Attorney E, Immigration Lawyer. If you like this video, please subscribe po and share it to your friends. Today's topic, pag-usapan natin ang expanded restrictions na, na in-issue ni President Trump uh, by a proclamation dated June 20, 2020. So Trump's expanded proclamation suspending entry of aliens to the U.S. Before we proceed, po, mag disclaimer muna tayo. This presentation is for educational purpose only. This is not meant to replace a consultation with a qualified immigration lawyer. No attorney client relationship is formed by watching this presentation. Okay? So, ang unang proclamation po was Proclamation 10014, dated April 23, 2020. I mean, effectively April 23, 2020. It suspended entry of immigrants who present a risk to the U.S. labor market during economic recovery due to coronavirus outbreak. So, after, this, this happened after COVID. So, temporarily, na suspend po ang pagpasok ng certain immigrants, you know? And this proclamation was um, good for 60 days. So what happened after 60 days? Nagkaroon po na another proclamation. Ito yung proclamation dated June 20, 2020. Ang effective date is June 24, 2020. So in, in extend niya yung proclamation dated April 23. And then it expanded um, to cover non-immigrant visa category. So we're going to talk about that. So um, ano itong mga non-immigrant visa categories na napasama na dito sa restrictions? H-1B, pati yung uh, H-4, yung foreign national, a companion or following to join them, ito yung spouse at children. H-2B, kasama din ng foreign national, a companion or following to join them. J-1, Ano itong mga J1 categories natin? Intern, trainee, teacher, camp counselor, au pair, summer work travel, and any foreign national accompanying or following to join them. L visa is included na rin po. So ito yung four non-immigrant visa categories na napasama sa expanded restrictions. H1B, H2B, J, L pati yung foreign national accompanying or following to join them, na pangkaraniwan ay spouse and children. Okay. So, um, sino bang mga individuals mag apply itong proclamation na to? Okay. Individuals who are outside the United States and do not have a non-immigrant visa and do not have an official travel document other than the visa. So nasa labas, walang non-immigrant visa and do not have an official travel document. So kung meron ka ng non-immigrant visa, meron ka ng travel document, ay hindi na mag apply sa, sa iyo ang proclamation na ito. Exemptions naman, kanino hindi mag apply Yung mga lawful permanent residents, yung mga green card holders na natin, Ay, ay hindi na po applicable itong proclamation na to. So, hindi kayo kasama sa suspension. Spouse or child of a U.S. citizen. So, hindi rin kayo kasama. Individuals seeking entry to, to provide temporary labor essential to the U.S. food supply chain. So, temporary labor na essential sa U.S. food supply chain. Okay? And then meron din tayong tinatawag na national interest exemption. Any individual whose entry would be in the national interest of the United States. Ngayon, pag-usapan natin itong mga national interest exemption categories. Number one, those critical to the defense, law enforcement, diplomacy, or national security of the U.S. Number two, those involved with the provision of medical care to individuals who have contracted COVID and are currently hospitalized. Ito yung mga hospital workers, medical workers po natin, ay hindi po kasama sa suspension dahil nagpo-fall sila sa national interest exemption. 
Number three, those involved with the provision of medical research at U.S. facilities to help the U.S. combat COVID-19. Number four, those that are necessary to facilitate the immediate and continued economic recovery of the U.S. Ah, o kaya itong mga children who would age out of eligibility for a visa because of the proclamation. Paano naman po ang ating mga asylum seekers? Ang asylum seekers naman po ay uh, maaari pang mag, pa rin mag-file ng application. The proclamation states that it does not limit the ability of individuals to apply for asylum, refugee status, withholding of removal, or protection under the Convention Against Torture. So kung nagpa-fall po dito sa, sa categories na ito ay hindi po kasama sa exemption. So, I mean sa suspension. Asylum, refugee status, withholding of removal or protection under the CAT or Convention Against Torture. So, pwede pa po yan. Ito naman pong national interest waiver, the consular officer has the discretion to determine if an individual is within one of the exempted categories. Okay? So, yan po ang expanded restrictions under the proclamation of June 20, effective June 24, 2020. If you have any questions, I mag email lamang po. And please don't forget to, um, oh, by the way, pala, fraud. Importante. Individuals who circumvent the application of the proclamation through fraud, willful misrepresentation, or illegal entry will be prioritized for removal. Okay, po. Uh, wag niyong kalimutan, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get immigration updates. Attorney E, Immigration Lawyer, and my email address po natin ay eboardlaw at gmail.com. Maraming salamat po. Till next time. Thank you.